Welcome to this short video on e-invoicing for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. My name is Jesper Scherpenhaus and I'm a consultant sales engineer here at Kofax. And in this short video, I want to show you how Kofax can help you address the new rules and regulations coming in, into effect on December 4th of this year. So starting from December 4th, all invoices need to be issued as PDF files and more specifically PDF A3, including a QR code that has, well, the key data points already embedded within it, but also an XML file that contains all of those data points as well. And both need to be stored until eventually phase two will start. And from phase two, these documents will need to be submitted to the Zatka uh, authorities automatically. And we don't know exactly what the, well, how phase two will look like, but they will issue the actual definitions of that in the coming months or maybe years. So what I want to do is I want to walk through some of these, well, requirements and show you how Kofax Intelligent Automation and specifically Kofax Communication Manager can help address these requirements. So first thing is, of course, we need to be able to generate invoices, including these QR codes. And this needs to be done automatically. And within the QR code, you will find data like who's the seller, what's the VAT number, uh, a, a timestamp you'll need there as well, what the actual VAT amount is, etc., cetera, et cetera. Uh, This is, of course, information that needs to be pulled uh, from existing ERP systems. Uh, Kofax Communications Manager is totally ERP agnostic and can be used with all ERPs. And it is then indeed able to also make sure that the invoices that we have uh, generated can, of course, also be automatically, gen automatically processed uh, further down the line. So the e-invoicing solution that we're going to be talking about today is based on a solution from Kofax called Communication Manager, uh, which is an enterprise grade communication generation platform that is able to generate PDF A3 and of course also the accompanying XML forms. And we can then, of course, make sure that we also adhere to the storage requirement within phase one that makes sure that you can then store uh, these documents and XML files in the archive of your choosing. So what I want to show you right now is a quick demo of what we have prepared today. So here we have something that should resemble an ERP system where you might have several, well, uh, cases that you could be working on, several invoices that you want to be able to generate. And that generation can, of course, be done in batch, it can be done on demand, and it can also be done interactively. So on demand and uh, and batch is, of course, well, somewhere in the background, a invoice will be generated based on the information that's pulled from the case that you're currently working on. And let's have a quick look at what that looks like. So here you have that information being generated based on the information that we have for the Kofax customer here as well. So I can then close that and I will then distribute that through print. It's been successfully sent to print and that was then also be, has done is it has stored the actual documents which is of course in PDF A format containing the QR code, all of the information there and what you can then also see is that we have the XML file there too in the correct and compliant form. So we already have this solution ready to go. And what you can then also do is also have this in an interactive fashion. So if you want to make some changes to the invoice prior to sending it out or generating it, you will actually be able to see that. Here you go. And we can just go through this. And we can then, of course, indeed review the documents before we send it out. And you can actually go back if you want. But let's generate it just now, send it to the printer, and also have the documents and the XML stored there. Here you go. So what did we just see? We talked about what the requirements are 
going forward for the well for the Zatka and Gazette requirements we need to be able to generate these uh, documents in PDF A3 form uh, we need to have the QR code there as well so that can be stored or scanned and the beauty is of course that this is based on Koufax communication manager so the actual template that generates these documents can be maintained by business users it's a very user-friendly interface and I've got more videos on my YouTube channel and on the Colfax demo center that can show you how easy it is to change these documents to make sure that it adheres to your look and feel how you want it. Um, other than that, uh, we have of course also shown you how easy it is to also generate the XML file and that XML file can easily be transformed into any sort of XML that you might want, including the UBL form uh, that is well required by the government of Saudi Arabia. Um, keep in mind that this needs to be in place before December 4th. Um, so it's already August. Uh, implementation typically takes between two and three weeks so please uh, once you've seen this and if you have any questions or if you're interested please reach out to your local Kofax team and they will be more than willing to help you set this up ASAP thanks so much for your time and uh, if you've got any questions you know where to reach me thanks so much cheers